Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have the new Volkswagen T-Roc Cabriolet airline with me and I will review it for you guys. Uh, I will show you the interior, exterior and I try to go in every single detail as possible. If you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, please subscribe. You will see the newest car on the market and also um, not only. So let's go guys and first time I want to show you and I want to start with the price and I want to give you all those uh, information about the car. So let me take this and uh, first time I want to tell you that on this car you will have a 1.5 liter engine, petrol engine, TSI 150 horsepower. We have the DSG automatic transmission right here from Volkswagen. This is classic uh, with seven gear shifter. Then you have here all those um, options that are on the car. Also, we have the Beats uh, sound system, one of the best. It is amazing. You can see also the speaker right here. Uh, it's, it has a great, great sound. Uh, also, I will go into detail and I will explain you everything as I go. The price of the car. It's around 51,900 francs um, in euro, around 49,000 euro. Also four cylinder, uh, if you uh, are wondering how many cylinders uh, the car have. So anyway, let's go forward guys and let me show you the car uh, exterior first time and then we will go inside and I try to show you also uh, all other details. So. Uh, what I want to tell you guys, it's something that the car come with those beautiful, beautiful 19 inch rims uh, and they are, they are just fantastic. If you didn't see the test drive with the car, check out on my channel guys, I did the test drive with it and it's amazing. I, I just love this car in the summer with the roof wide open just like that. It's just phenomenal, the car. It drives so, so good. Um, the rims fit also perfect with the car, in my opinion. They are super, super beautiful. We have Turanza tires, you can see uh, right here. If you go closer, uh, and 19 inch rims. Here are the information on the tire. You can also read it up. I like the brake discs, they're really big. We have ventilated brake discs there. Um, they look great and um, they, they just, fit perfect with this car. The rims are just phenomenal. I like the fact that they add this plastic around the wing, uh, around the, the rims because this plastic here guys and even here it's more important it protects the paint of the car in time to not rust because the wheel always throws some stones down here you know down here come a lot of stones and in time you get rust here so this is very very practical great job Volkswagen also not only in the front this is something that we have also in the back there so you can see um, that they, they try to protect the car for a long time and that's very good in my opinion also beautiful lines on the side if you see right there on the side beautiful beautiful lines uh, also going close here you can see the airline logo on the both sides on the other side of the car is the same the airline logo then we have those beautiful beautiful mirrors in black um, because as you know Volkswagen they combine this black with white when they make the airline they combine these two colors a lot so we have the mirrors here in black and also we have in the back the spoiler right here that in my opinion it looks just phenomenal it looks super beautiful and there you have also the brake lights in the middle uh, when you brake uh, the LED lights it's right here also in the middle and you have it also classic in the tail lights guys so the tail lights are um, classic the same as on the normal T-Roc but you have LED lights, the blinkers and the tail light and the reverse light and everything. It's um, LED light, also nice lines. I like the line there in the middle between those uh, tail light. It looks fantastic. Also the bumpers, the lines in the back, they are just, um, just super nice in my opinion. We have six parking sensors in the back, guys. 
uh, very very good safety features on the car six parking sensors in the back six parking sensors in the front some light reflectors here some plastic then we have this fake exhaust pipe that make the car look much more sportier and nicer then we have this plastic here kind of a diffuser that look nice the real exhaust pipe it's under the car LED lights on the number plate nice T-Rock writing there behind the logo it is the camera because the car have a reverse camera as well um, also if you go in the trunk you can see the trunk right here it's manually uh, you have some plastic at the entrance it's pretty big trunk in my in my opinion for a cabriolet car you have hooks everywhere and also under the floor here you have some storage space for triangle repair kit and all that uh, stuff and it's really deep around 25 centimeter also another cool stuff that you can do on the car it's from here you can pull this up and you can fold down the seats you can see you can fold down the seats and if you, you can even carry uh, long items there in the middle so let me just show you how the seats are looking like folding down so you can see there it's plenty of space to carry your stuff and even down there uh, in front of the seat uh, it's much more space so that's really really useful uh, when you need to carry uh, long long items also here is the roof you need around 10 seconds in 10 seconds the roof can be closed so this is really really something impressive here you have the tank where you can fuel the car as well it's on the right side if you're uh, if you're interested in all that stuff and also another cool stuff that i like guys it's when you close this trunk so you can hear the noise the noise it's it's so high class it's so premium the noise it's super super premium also a beautiful beautiful car for the summer to have fun and to stay in wind a lot it's just it's just uh, perfect the quality in the interior you will see in a moment it is also fantastic great quality inside the car um, even the steering wheel it's it's awesome but anyway let me go forward guys let me close the door first time and let me show you that around the edges of the car around the windows we have this glossy plastic this is kind of the um, latest uh, trend in terms of uh, things around the windows it's this glossy plastic Mercedes and BMW use it as well here on the mirror we have the blind spot technology in the corner right there glossy plastic LED lights right here and um, yeah let me go in the front also beautiful lines on the hood there I like very much the lines on the hood they look super nice so sharp and uh, they make the car look much more sportier in my opinion then we have here full led light and also adaptive high beam low beam led nice design here we have the daylight and also six parking sensors in the front as i told you before uh, here it's also the blinker i will show you later we have a fog lamp with normal bulb light down here some plastic mat uh airline logo here in the front and then behind the volkswagen logo it's the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that uh, safety technology uh, other than that we have a big grill um, great some air intakes here that go to radiator to cool down the engine even up there the same story um, as it goes also um, up there on the windscreen guys we have the camera for lane assist uh, for lane assist and also can read the traffic speed limits and also the raining sensors for the wipers 
Um, other than that, what can I say? I like very much the design of the car, the shape of the car. I, th I think those 19 inch rims, they fit super nice on the car and the car looks much, much better with them. Um, what can I say? It's a nice looking car uh, in my opinion. Now that you see the trunk, let me go inside guys. And um, I also want to show you the um, engine. Let me open up that and let me show you the engine guys. Maybe you are interesting in how the engine look like. It's very easy to open up. It's a manual lift gate right here on the engine bay. And here is the engine. Um, yeah. What can I say? For most of you, it doesn't say anything, but uh, it's kind of a classic Ray from Volkswagen. Nothing different. Um, yeah, nothing changed there. So, yeah, let's go forward, guys. Um, we will go to the doors, and I just want to tell you guys we have frameless windows, of course. Uh, cannot be other than that you can fold down the windows all the way down and you can fold down Also those windows in the back all the way down. I will show you a little bit later um, Here on the upper side we have a uh, plastic guys, but uh, It looks very nice in my opinion also here we have some um, Kind of a gray plastic and then inside here we have the ambient light so you can see in the night the ambient light in the car then going down here we have leather 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 everywhere here is just leather soft material and not only there but even down here we have leather and soft material plenty of space storage space in the in the door bands we have a speaker here and uh, this is the door i think 70 percent of the door it's it's high quality um, good going forward the airline logo here at the entrance beautiful design as well I like the way they, they create this here. It looks super fancy. Then we have some plastic at the entrance and then we have aluminum pedals Really awesome awesome pedals. I like it the quality. It's, it's really good Then we have manual adjustable seats just to keep in mind that you have to adjust the seats manually but guys we have those airline seats that they look just phenomenal i mean the quality of those seats they are super super good and you can see the stitches the trim you have side support they are very comfortable i drive this car you can check out the test drive on my channel guys if you didn't see it yet um, they, they, they are super comfy and you can adjust every position you want up down left right the way you want it also even the headrest you can adjust it uh, very simply from here you can fold down the seat if you want to go in the back here also you can put the seat back just like that in one second so let me go here very easy to put the seats back you have iso fix in the back for the kids um, and then you can see even in the back this nice nice design layout the stitches look nice you have here a speaker and even down here another speaker and here we have soft leather material right here so really good quality up here we have plastic and also you can see it on the other side now the quality inside the car it is super super good um, and let me go inside here it's so easy to go inside also and we have here two USB ports some plastic and some big bump in the middle and the two vents right here pretty awesome behind the front seats it's leather we have a storage space here you can also close this up and right now the seats it's a little bit too much in the front but if you go here for example let me go here where the seat it's way way too much in the back so you have plenty of space there so you can see that you still have plenty of space here and you can go with the seats much more in the front for sure and you can have still plenty of space uh, yeah on the head space i think is not so important the head space but later i will close this 
and I will try to show you also the headspace here in the back with the roof uh, folding up but it is really really um, comfortable to be here in the back they are really really good seats um, they did a great job it's, it's really good now we will go in the front I will show you the cockpit and the design in the front as well the center console and the space in the glow box and all that stuff so let's go in the front guys um, so easy to go out even from here from the back it's super easy to go out and in and I like that let me fold the seats a little bit in the back and let me show you again um, the way they look and also the dashboard it is nice I love this steering wheel the steering wheel is fantastic one of my favorite part in this car uh, you have the airline logo here nice design you have the buttons to control different function even there on the cockpit and really nice trim the, the pedals to change the gear manually if you want to then here in the middle you have an armrest you can adjust the armrest it's leather good quality you can open it up you have a space there where you can put your key or stuff then you have the key right here guys and then you have the electronic handbrake auto hold uh, you can close the roof from here and here you can fold down and fold up the seats i will show you later and then aluminum pedals you already see it here is the um, the light adjustable uh, button and then we have plastic all over the dash guys but very nice design uh, then we have the vents pretty simple to use and it feel really really soft I like the way they feel let me go inside to show you the rest here we have the, the glove box it's, it's super big super super big then we have the screen very well integrated here on the dashboard the great visibility from the driver point of view as you can he see here let me close the door great great visibility from here also around the windows big mirror great visibility around the windows also even in the mirror you have a nice visibility in the back and around the windows as well so you can see for yourself the way it looks and what can i say guys i like the fact that up here you have an led light you can see super high quality a nice mirror then you have here also led lights with a touch screen you can see it's kind of a touch screen so nice quality also even there um yeah now guys let me close let me try to go out let me show you how that the car have also when you lock the car you can see the mirrors are automatic folding so i like that very much every time you close uh, the car because you have this keyless entrance here you can see the handles are really really awesome so um, yeah let me show you the interior now guys and then we will go right forward so okay guys now i want to show you when you close the roof and before closing the roof i want to show you that you can fold down the windows all the way down just like that so you can see the windows there go up all the way up and then here is the button when you close up this roof right now let me close it up for you guys so and then the windows go up and now it's closed so you can see the car with the roof close up the way it looks i think it is super super nice very very nice design also with the roof up so I let you choose that and then um, yeah let me go inside because I promise you I will show you the space so let me go in the back and uh, check out the headspace now 
So as I told you, it's plenty of space and a great visibility on the windows. Even with the roof up, uh, you have a great comfort here in the back. That's something to keep in mind. So I think this is one of the most comfortable um, cabriolet um, on this price, to be honest. And I think this is really, really a welcome car in the industry these days. Uh, because I think they did a great job with the with the interior space and with design and quality materials and all that stuff. They they really did a great job. So yeah, now, now just let me show you the the blinkers, guys, and then we will end up this video. And also maybe I will show you the multimedia system a little bit. So we have LED lights also on the mirrors right here. Then in the front, you can see the LED lights are just down there. And also, let me go in the back. I will show you in the back. They are just right here. I don't know if you can see it so well because it's too much sun right now, but yeah, I think you make an idea about them. So let me go inside and let me show you guys close the blinkers and also the quality of the doors it's super nice I like the way it here uh, good now guys here we have the cockpit the active info display I think you already see it in my videos I have plenty of review with it but you can customize it in many ways the way you want it there so you can see there in the middle you have the navigation you can have assistant you can have information about the driving the lap time the car information the telephone the audio and all that stuff also you can change you can activate lane assist adaptive cruise control the blind spot technology sensors in the back and all that stuff it's pretty awesome that you are able to do that you can change the view for example to view in different ways for example in the middle if you have the navigation in the middle and then you go to view you can change from the steering wheel from here all the all the settings right there in the front so you can have the navigation there or the way you want it i don't want to go into details it's really awesome nice colors um, and uh, it's a great resolution as well it's worked perfect one of the best on the market i have the full review on my channel check it out there if you want to see it also here the navigation work super nice you you can see that it has no lag at all it's actually uh, very responsive so as well one of the best on the market it's loading very fast if you chase a destination you go to start and you can see how fast it's loading and it's it's working just just fabulous um i like it very much i like this navigation from Volkswagen let me cancel it right now for a bit and then let me show you the other things you have shortcut button here uh, for example radio you can you have also this um, gesture control so you can use the gesture control then you have the media I like the, the screen it's a glossy screen very nice screen uh, then you have the phone here and then you have the navigation you have the application here you can connect to android um, auto upper car play um, so you can use it very easy car here you have all the information about the car and menu it's very similar with what you find in other volkswagens uh, the newest one i mean then you have the climatic system you can adjust it from here you can turn it on turn it off the way uh, you want to use it of course you have also heated seats here guys if you want to use it heated seats uh, on the climatic system you have the buttons here you have a wireless charging port here so i mean you can leave your phone here and you can wireless charging it start stop button two usb c 112 volt port this is the stick to change the gear uh, the dsg seven gear automatic and then here 
two cup holders electronic handbrake and all that button you already see it and here you have the parking sensors the driving modes from here you can go to sport individual echo comfort normal mode the way you want to drive it so it's it's pretty cool that you can change this if you want to see more info about that check out my drive test with this new t-rock um, cabriolet airline now anyway we were here so you have the navigation you have assistance all the information about the safety settings you have there the car you already see it you can change the language here on the settings you can change the language the time the date and all that stuff so um, I think you already know that so um, anyway guys I don't want to make too much too long this video so I hope you really enjoyed the video I hope um, it was helpful for you guys and if you find this helpful please subscribe to my channel also check out my other videos check out the test drive with this new T-Rock um, Cabriolet airline and uh, thank you guys I hope the review was useful um, please subscribe check out my other videos thank you again for watching my videos guys and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.